Right, so welcome back guys to Hunter Collective. Um, today I'm doing quite a requested haircut actually. It's um, my take on Macklemore's sort of new haircut. Um, I was talking to John before we started and with Macklemore's it's very short, it's super super high and tight um, fade, so probably more like a medium to high fade and then he has it very very short on top. But we want to kind of, John wants to give it a little bit more length in it, so it's quite a nice way to vary the Macklemore's haircut to kind of still suit your client. So we're going to do a very high and tight uh, ball fade, skin fade, and then we're going to take the top down maybe half the length of what it is. So half more from what Macklemore's is, but half of what John's hair is now. So picking John's hair up and having a look at it, I'm probably going to look at losing, as you can see from this, the crown's already a lot shorter than the front, based on his last haircut. So we're going to probably take off about that much, and we've agreed that with John in the consultation that we're allowed, you know, we're allowed to take a bit, bit more off than what he normally would do. Because um, I think it just works really well for this haircut and this, this, uh, this demonstration as well. So I'm going to start by sectioning the top off in my usual U-shape partner, horseshoe partner, and really work on that blend to start with. That way it allows me to keep the length on the top, allows me to kind of work with John to what length we can take it short as well. So it's quite nice to still do something based on that haircut because a lot of the time people come in and they show me a picture. It doesn't always work for them. So it's nice to be able to take something of that picture that we've, we've looked through and still make it work for, for the client in the chip. So I'm going to start off with my partner and then we're going to start onto the fade. Um, this is a more so like a kind of what we'd say like a marine kind of high and tight. So if you want to ask your barber for this, you want to sort of say like a marine kind of high and tight back and sides. So we still try and use the head shape, but we almost round this off slightly um, because for that kind of high fade, you could still do it quite square, but I think for this look, we're going to want something quite extreme on the back and sides, very similar to what Macklemore's is like. So it's very high, even at the back, it's really high as well. So I want to try and do that as much as I can without losing too much of the crown because I always like to keep a little bit of crown. It's good for the, the kind of the profile shot from the side. Because um, you know, it's got, this haircut's got to look good, or every haircut's got to look good. It's like 360 degrees, not just from what John sees in the mirror, or what you, know, you may see from the sides. So I always try and keep a little bit of length in the crown, just to keep that little shape in the back. But yeah, marine sort of high and tight, what we're going for on the back and sides today. I'm gonna leave enough length just through my fingers so I can still connect the top as well. Thing with this haircut, usually on most of the fades that I do, I'll always start off say like at a height, maybe in between the sort of temple and the sideburn, and drop it around underneath the occipital bone at the back. Usually that's because you're trying to maintain a bit of weight here, or a bit of length here. But with this haircut, I'm just going one straight line all the way around, so I'm not looking to drop it and the weight. I'm looking to get that real high and tight effect on the back and sides. So I'm working literally in a straight line all the way around, no dipping towards the back or nothing, just straight across. And this way, that's how it looks really high and tight. Because on the sides, it's usually probably really the same height as what I would take it, or maybe it's much higher. But what really shows the circles off is how much scalp exposure there is. So the whole back and sides almost going to be completely down to the bone. So it's, uh, this is what gives that real high and tight effect. So I'm also, um, I'm just leaving myself room to blend as well. So because we want to keep a bit more length on the top, I need to leave that little bit more length, uh, a little bit more room to, to blend this haircut in as well. So usually if we were doing the same, exactly the same haircut as Macklemore's got now, I'd probably be going right off and off at the zero, but because I need to keep a little bit of, little bit of length here just to blend in to, uh, to maintain this and to blend the top into this as well.
Um, for the, the the foil for the shader itself, I used the uh, I used Braun. Um, I used the Braun Series Nine for anything like this. It's just it just cuts through hair like you wouldn't believe. It's like hot knife through butter almost. But the good thing is you don't get any irritation or anything from this, so you you're not going to get any little red marks or any bumps or anything like that at all. Um, and as you can see, it just cuts through with ease. With this particular one, the Series Nine, you can cut through sort of like say if you've got a beard or anything like that. It's like three day old stubble. With like literally just comes off in one stroke. It's absolutely incredible. But what I like about this as well, because a lot of the time it's very hard to blend the foils out. So because it's got a lot, it's got it's it's got the two foils at the front and the back. You just you can just basically flick off with it, and the head sort of moves as well. So you get that real nice little seamless blend into the the minis, which is is perfect. Because and, and you know it, it's it can be quite hard to get the foil uh, the foil line out. But this just seems to blend nice and easy. top now so we're going to pick a length that works with John again you know customize this so still using a variation of the Macklemore haircut but still trying to just customize it to John the client in the chair or any client that is in the chair so we're going to work it and I'm going to show him how much length I think should come off he can tell me if he wants a bit more a bit less and we can work from there I always think showing off, like showing a haircut to a barber is I think sometimes a really good thing because you don't always have to have the, the exact photograph, like the exact haircut in the photograph. You might like the back and sides of a haircut or the top of a haircut. Even if you've got a few, say you like the back and sides of Macklemore, but you like the top of, I don't know, David Beckham's new one with a bit more length in it. You can, you know, you, it, you just incorporate parts of both haircuts. As long as you can make it work, it's perfect. So lengthwise, what do you think on the top? Would you like to lose, say, I don't know, say half this length that like we spoke about? Yeah. Would that be alright? Say yeah, about yeah. that? Yeah, cool, awesome. So his crown is probably the length I'm going to take the, the whole top to, so I don't want to take too much of that because it was, a, as you can see from the start of the video, it sort of graduates short to long. So I want to try and maintain that as that, that's kind of my length I'm going to wear towards the whole and um, the whole of the haircut on the top, but maintain a little tiny bit more length through the, uh, the fringe, but not too much though. We're not looking for any sort of a uh, pompadour or quiff or anything like that. doing now is just cutting the fringe in just to match up so just keeping that little bit more length through the fringe um, just to have a little bit more height very similar to, to the Macklemore haircut but just obviously you know a variation of a, a longer version of that on the top so I'm just cutting that into blend but we're just gonna um, give it a bit more kind of like a real broken texture through this haircut because if you actually look at the Macklemore haircut it's a very textured haircut so so when I'm working through this texture on the top, I'm taking quite a bit of hair off throughout the texture so it's going to be very, very choppy. Now you're taking a bit of length off there, but what that does, it gives a very, very uh, heavily textured look to the haircut, so it's very kind of up and down, up and down, up and down, but when you have product in there, 
you can't tell it just shows off loads and loads of movement and that kind of real short croppy kind of texture in there as well so what you're ultimately left with is that kind of finish where you got length short length short length short that does you've still got that overall length through the top but then when you get product in there it shows off them shorts of elements so that's where you get that real choppiness to it So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to dry it through and do a little bit more dry texture as well. In this texture, like when you do it wet, it's great, but when you do it dry, you can see exactly how it's going to fall. Now, this is a good one for thinning the hair out as well. So, you know, head forward a little bit and you texturize at the root. Now, this just gives you, you've texturized it from sort of from the top of the hair, the length we've finished, down to say halfway. Now this is going to the root. This has a little bit of collapse, but the good thing with this as well is that as the haircut grows out, it's gonna have texture because this is gonna be very, very short at the root. So as it grows through, it's gonna give a lot of texture to this haircut. So again, I always try and aim to have a bit of longevity in my haircuts too. And this kind of gives that little bit of texture as the, the weeks go by. But what you'll see at the end as well is that you'll see a lot more texture coming through here as well. It also starts to thin the hair out. Just do it before the fringe, don't do it into the fringe. But you can see as I push this off, yeah. A lot of that thickness is coming through as well, but we maintain a lot of length, but and texture. So it's a really good technique to kind of do a lot of different, uh, a lot of different things throughout the circuit. So thin and out, texturize, and still maintain length. Just before the fringe, you don't want to do it at the fringe because you cut into the fringe. Now I'm not a, a big fan of doing that as it doesn't go out very well. But I'm doing this sort of from oh, just before the crown, might just to, to up almost before the fringe as well. Just wait this through. Just cut into it as the hair falls. As you can see, we've maintained still a lot of length. We've really thin out, and there's loads of texture in there as well. I'm going to break this fringe up. It's going straight in. And that's my variation on a uh, Macklemore's new haircut. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to blast this through a bit of cold air. So, I need to dry it, so it's dry. And I'll style it off as well. It's really good. Looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. So it's not as short as his, but you still got to, like yeah, you're yeah. painting quite a bit of length through there. Yeah. His is almost like like finger length almost. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. So to finish, I'm going to use a little bit of my own product, which is um, LHD with a circle. It's like a cream. But you don't need to use something with loads of hold in this. You just want something to coat the hair. So you don't want to be too matte. You want a little bit of kind of um, a natural shine to this. So I think that's if you look at his haircut, it's got quite a natural kind of shine. You see the texture coming through. So five piece size, and just work it in like a shampoo. So always again start with the crown, and then work this in like a shampoo. And I'm just gonna let that fall away at once, and that thing up a little bit. And I'm really sure off that texture on the top of it. Right on them sides. And then just break it up. Again, the faster you are, the more messy the haircut looks, the more texture you bring out, the more you show it off. So that is my finished look based around uh, the Macklemore haircut. So what we've done, we've tailored it more towards John's request so we didn't want to go as short as that haircut but we still wanted it really high and tight on the back and side so we still kept that real kind of marine ball fade that kind of really high fade um, we kept a little bit more length on top for him so we didn't want to get mega short so i've just kind of we compromised on the length i uh, just overly texturized just so you get a real movement you can see a lot of that texture coming through there as well that we did uh, and it's just a very easy haircut for him to maintain as well because you still want something to you can still base a haircut on something on like say celebrities but a lot of the time they've got a stylist got hairstyles that has created that look for them so if i can create something that's as, as close to that look as possible but that he can still walk around with and show off my haircut and also feel confident styling it himself i think you're on to a winner there so i'll show you the back and size johnson what you think what you got, sir? i know so right. yeah. the, uh... so we've gone really oh, high and tight with that yeah yeah so again normally i drop it down but i really want to show off that kind of marine kind of style mm -hmm. so i've gone quite high at the back as well no quite like a sort of short blend so you get that little slight weight line through but you still show off that uh, yeah. that length through the top all right very nice awesome yeah. thank you very much man